here is dirty. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Seda, if you didn't already know. In today's video, I actually just wanted to show you guys how I managed to shower while being on peritoneal dialysis and having the hemodialysis line. So you can see this is mine. And honestly, it comes down all the way up to here. Before I go into the shower, I like to have some of the all-purpose sponges. And I also like to have the meat pores, just in case either for this or for this. Usually I don't need them because I don't get it wet. I'm pretty good at just keeping it dry. I also have a band-aid. And last but not least, I do use some alcohol pads. And what I do with this is actually just clean around because I don't get any of this wet at all while I'm in the shower. So this really helps. At least I feel like it helps with keeping this area clean. And this stuff I like to keep outside the package. That way if I know that I'm gonna change them, I take them out of the package and leave them here so then I can just quickly change them. Oh, not this by the way. And then my PD line I change every other day uh, just to keep it clean. I'm still trying to get used to this. Brand new guys. There's like a button here that moves it around. It's kind of cool. Wow, you can see me even more now. I have a lens on my camera that I got for my birthday. Really nice, thank you. I have the teal towel for my hair and then the big towel for my body. So you guys won't be able to see me do this. What I do is basically just, I turn on the shower and when the shower is running behind me, I just kind of wash myself like this and that's it. I just do my back, I step away from the shower and just wash half of my body and then I wash it and that's basically it. Um, it takes a long time because I really have to be careful not trying to get it wet like I keep saying. As soon as I'm done washing my back, I use a towel to just clean off the excess water so it doesn't drip onto my dialysis line. I just finished showering. Um, I do get my line wet, but it's, it's nothing. It's literally all closed. I make sure that everything is tight. And as you can see, nothing is wet. It's all clean. Um, so unfortunately, I opened these for no reason, but I will use it for my ankle next time. I'm gonna use one of these for my ankle. I was at work and the corner of this wood thing kind of punctured my ankle and I didn't realize until after a few days and it started itching so much and it was red and oozing and it was, it was disgusting. I went to the doctor's for it, he said it was fine. There was no infection, just to put polyspore it. I put a band-aid on it. It was kind of coming off anyways, if you guys can see. So you see here, I ended up putting a meat pour and then just kind of Going like this and then taping it all the way through and then the second one that I use is I place it where I want it to stay and just tape it down so it's nice and secure it won't move it's just in place and then the next step is just this is already coming off so I have to take it out tomorrow and that's basically just how I 
managed to keep my hemodialysis line dry. Next, I'm gonna show you how I wash my hair. Like I said, this whole process takes me about an hour to finish and do my whole shower routine. I've been doing this routine for about three years, three, four years. So I'm gonna try to show you guys um, what I do to try to avoid not getting it wet while washing my hair. Before I turn this on and you can't hear me, I like to kind of separate my my hair stuff and just put it to the side so I know where it is and it's easily accessible for me to just keep my hair completely down. Go like this and then flip my hair over, which I'm gonna do right now because I really need to wash my hair. And now for my final step, I just like to do my face. That's basically it. And then I just moisturize my body. That was out. I really like this. It's super hydrating. My eyes are super red. It's one thing I've been struggling with while being on dialysis. I'm just gonna let it air dry for now and then in the morning I just style it. My hair has been falling out like crazy in the shower. Um, surprisingly today it, there was barely any but usually there's so much. So let me know what kind of tricks you guys do to keep your perm cat dry because I'm really struggling. I know some people like super wrap it up but I don't have time for that, I'm just trying to shower. It already takes me an hour. I'm trying to get in, get out. Like always, please like, share, subscribe, comment, or leave me a DM on my Instagram, which will be linked right here. Message me about anything, any kidney failure tips. I've had a kidney transplant if you wanna know more about that. Just let a girl know. I want to know. I want to know your stories. I'm really happy that I could help you guys out and you guys could help me out because a girl be feeling alone. Hello darkness, my old friend. Seriously, sometimes it's really depressing, really lonely, um, but just know that like you got this. You never know who you're inspiring, so continue doing what you're doing. Stay motivated and surround yourself with people who love you and who, you know, keep you going because like I said, it's um, a hard situation to go through. Hopefully you guys liked my video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.